Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexi and today we're doing another pick a card. Today's pick a card is the video that I mentioned a couple of videos back and um, you guys have been going, I want this, I want this, when are you doing it, when are you doing it since? And I've been really excited to do it but I felt really intuitively to like call to do it at this period so that's why we're doing it now um and that is what potential timelines are opening up to you in your life right now and how can you align with your highest timeline so we're going to be taking a look at the timelines in front of you um and your highest timelines and by highest timeline i mean a timeline where your higher self your spirit guides feel you're going to be your most fullest emotionally happiest or just what's best and in alignment for you um we're going to be taking a look at what's opening up and yeah we're going to be speaking about that to show you guys how you can align with that what you may need to do if there's any work that needs to be done physically or internally or anything like that uh and yeah i'm really excited we've got two cats with us right now Looney is Luna's currently watching and having a sniff about and Vader is just sitting there looking all happy just chilling out um I don't know if they'll join the reading they may do specifically Luna but yeah let's get in so I have four crystals for you guys to choose from pile number one is the citrine crystal pile number two is the Lemurian quartz Pile number three is the amber. And pile number four is the red carnelian. I forgot the name then. So see which crystal you're drawn to. The timestamps are going to be in the description box as usual. And I will see you guys at your timestamp. Hey, pal one, welcome to your reading. So we are taking a look at what what timelines i forgot what i was saying then what timelines are opening up to you right now and how to step on to your highest timeline so i'm going to start with tarot and then we're going to move into the oracle card so let's get in so spirit guides can you show me the timelines that are opening up for my pile number ones and what is the highest timeline for my pile number ones right now what is the highest timeline my pile number ones can step onto right now that's opening up? Pile number one. Okay, we have strength. I think that you have a lot of openings in your energy field in regards to moving forward because of work you would have done that would have been directly connected to your solar plexus. Now, it could also be that right now, you may be feeling a little bit insecure, having a little bit of imposter syndrome or just feeling um, not that confident right now. There's a method to this. The reason you're feeling these feelings is they're being brought up into your conscious awareness to feel and move through because you are aligning. Um, like I, what I'm seeing, right, is you guys, it's like there's a, how to explain it. OK, I'm underground and there's like uh, mud all around me earth all around me compost all around me and I know behind this dirt and this earth there are like crystals that are mine I know wealth is mine I know a uh, beautiful relationship is mine or I know this is mine and I know that is mine whatever it is behind this I'm being shown four things and it's almost like I know this however there's feelings where I don't feel good enough for it even though I intuitively know it's there I'm almost staying in this compass of this mud because I don't feel like I can break through um or there's just this feeling of um this subconscious one maybe of I'm not worthy um or I don't have what it takes or I'm not the right fit for the job or I'm not the right person to have that other people have this not me and I feel like that in itself is being purged out of you so that you can literally like punch through that mud and grab those crystals because they are yours and you can intuitively feel them um so I do feel like you've may because i see like you've been aligning with something or having new ideas coming through like what if i had this in my career what if i had you know x amount of money or what if i had this type of house or what if i looked like this or had this and then it's like you're having these new ideas and there's just this feeling of i don't know i don't know i don't know um and there's almost this feeling like i need to play small or i need to know my place and maybe that is something that was drummed into you subconsciously a lot of your life uh that is peeling away so it may be right now because i do feel for some of you guys there's a purge happening right now but it's 
it, it's already happening i'm seeing timelines opening up where there's a lot of things being almost open to you for you guys to receive just out of this initial purge or this initial thorn being pulled out um i do think it does go back i do think it does go back to maybe childhood um and some conscious wounds that you may have internalized through childhood maybe some of you guys may have suffered bullying in childhood or you were just put down a lot um you know maybe you didn't have what maybe your peers had and you may have felt inadequate um or maybe you just you know had a parent that was very heavily critical of you um and wanted to keep you small whatever the case i feel like you are removing those programs some of you guys already have some of you guys are working through them but either way i am seeing these timelines of a lot of abundance and it's almost like i'm walking into it like i deserve this i deserve that i deserve this which is really beautiful but um we're gonna see what it is that you're aligning with now but i just see that shift in your energy feel right now i think that you've done a lot of work to get to that point pile number one what timelines are opening up to my pile number ones right now uh we have the emperor what is the highest timelines that my pile number ones what is the highest timeline oh we have the Four of Pentacles. Right now, I want to say, be very careful where your money is going because I feel like the highest timeline um, to step onto, I see you guys being like physically doing things or having to drop some money for abund like to create more abundance in the sense of um, whether it's like dropping some money to get that house or that mortgage or dropping some money to get that car or maybe dropping um that money to go places and find pieces of yourself because i see some of you guys maybe traveling and things like that um so i'm being told for you guys to be super aware of where your money is going right now um and it's it's almost like um i'm not saying have a scarce mentality in regards to money in the sense of buy all your money and save it all up i don't mean it like that um but there's a message that there's things that you may want to do or things that you may want to invest in um it could be in regards to your physical body it could be in regards to again you know physical means like house car things like that it could be in regards to traveling again um and it's like i don't know it's like creating a savings account or I'm making sure it's like okay this money's going towards this this money's going towards that and i see somebody with a piece of paper going these are the four things that i want to reach so every time like that money comes in it's going towards that and i'm just kind of like it's almost like filtering through if that makes sense so, like having a savings account knowing that to get this car you need like a certain amount and then it's almost like the money is going towards that um and being really careful with that because i feel like maybe in the past um when you guys may have felt a little bit empty because this is like a past energy so a past timeline that you are disconnecting from and dismantling i feel like in the past when you may have felt a little bit empty or you may have felt um inadequate in some ways um because i feel like you've dealt with insecurities i feel like what you might have done is um maybe purchase things or not take a look at where your money is going um or being very you know it's almost like i'm buying something quickly to have that feeling but then i don't really care for it later on um so it's like short-term satisfaction and i almost feel like i'm filling a void with that you're dismantling that because it's almost like i'm cool where i am right now i don't need anything beyond me and my energy and money is going here there and there so i can have that later on sort of thing and i think that th there's a strong reference to make sure that you are doing that if there's things you know you want to be doing or thinking of like a timeline that you want to align with if there's things there that you want or things there that you um, want to be experiencing making sure that you're prepping for it now so that when that time comes that you can jump onto it it flows easy and you're not kind of like struggling financially wise that's something coming through uh pile number one pile number one's highest timeline ten of swords on the back of the deck we have the four of cups i feel like you guys because especially with this four of cups at the back of the deck i almost see you guys either currently or you're going to reach a point where you're feeling very dissatisfied with things around you now what i mean by that is there's this feeling of i want more i'm hearing baby bird by chloe and harley and they sing why fly with the chickens when you can fly with the eagles um 
and I hear that in the sense of I see you getting to a point where I'm not saying you're dissatisfied with where you're at it's more so like I know I can have more I know I can achieve more and I see you guys naturally just getting that drive to start building towards something and I see a lot of ideas coming as a result um because I, it's almost like I'm looking around at everything and I just feel a little bit bored or I just feel not discontent because I see like a wholeness within it's more so it's like a feeling of I'm ready to pop out of my cocoon now I'm ready to be seen now I'm ready to feel confident now I'm ready to get that I'm ready to reach that like diamond now I'm ready to do that so it's almost like you you may go through a short time period of just feeling a little bit inadequate or just feeling like um things on it's like I don't feel worthy or I don't I, I just feel insecure and I you know you may be just feeling insecure about um where you're at in life or just feeling insecure about yourself physically that old outdated wounds they're purging out as they purge out and they're gone I see you guys then feeling pretty content with where you're at and you have no problem showing up you feel very worthy and it's like well I feel worthy of this this and that let's go get it and I see you jumping into a go get um mode where I see you guys like I'm here in fast motion by Sweetie um and she sings I'm coming in fast first place I'm coming in fast or something like that but it's like a really like high tempo song and she like comes number one in all these different sports and I'm hearing that because I feel like there's going to be a moment where there's like a lightning bolt um where you're just going to kind of look around you and be like okay I've made it this far I've cleared out the clutter all the weeds are gone now and now it's like all this potential and I see you guys physically working towards things and that's why I'm being told right now to keep your money where it needs to be um when you're feeling a little bit insecure I know you might want to purchase something or do something like that um to maybe make yourself feel a little bit better but you're being called to like hold out um because I keep being shown like blocks of money you guys keeping back and then it's like oh my god I can purchase this or, oh my god I can purchase that or, oh my god I can go on this trip or oh my god I can get that car now or, oh I can do this it's that sort of thing so that's why you're being called to really bide your money I feel like over the next six months um it's interesting I'm gonna be honest with you the next six months I don't see too much physical change in the sense of um how do I explain this in the next six months there is physical change but it's different than what you would expect physical change to be so I don't see you in a shadow period and feeling stuck in the next six months um I do see little bits here and there sparks coming up of insecurities and I do see you guys slowly but surely putting things in order but it's almost like sowing seeds so again it's like saving money or like working on fitness or um really focusing on a career aspect or really focusing on um making money you know and and doing things like that or really honing in a craft or doing some sort of course or something like that it's almost like in the past when you go in shadow work or inner work it's almost like I'm in this cocoon and I don't know what's next and I feel like it's never ending um and you, you're just very stuck feeling these feelings and wanting to be somewhere else whereas I feel like this next six months I see you putting things in order but you're very aware of what's next so it's almost like I'm planning for what's next so it's not the same as before where you were in a shell and you were feeling low and you, you might have felt a little bit hopeless as you were purging it's more like um I'm in the house now and um it's gonna take six months for it to be where it needs to be but right now I'm like painting the walls and oh my god now that I've painted the walls I have this great idea for this and I can add plants in here and um you know what let's remove these lights and put in a chandelier or let's um take this wall down and open it up so it's like I see you still when I say no I don't see too much physical change happening in the next six months. I just feel like five to six. Some of you guys is five and some of you guys it might even be four. Um, it's more so really hell-bent focused on something. Uh, whatever that is that you know is going to make you feel a million dollars or feel really good. Fitness, health, uh, you know, saving money, um, even just doing that shadow work that comes up. But I feel like that kind of goes hand in hand. Um, I see somebody reading so I feel like you may be learning something uh you may even start 
making moves in a career or a project on the side um, and start really pushing in with that. There's something that's going to aid you later on that I see you guys focusing on now. And that's why I'm being shown the house, things being done to the house. But on the outside of people looking in, it might not look like anything's going on um, until the doors open and people can see it's like a completely different house now. So I see physical action. So even though I don't see you in this internal purging state um i see you kind of like recuperating and having new ideas and planting seeds like that because then i see this timeline opening up then where it's like i can go and do this and i can go and do that i'm showing up i'm being seen i feel like this highest timeline that you're stepping into your leadership qualities that you have very strongly i see it here with the strength card your um anything that what you're purging and getting rid of as well is anything that stopped you shining out being in command of your own energy and just being seen I feel like maybe in the past you felt like oh, I shouldn't say that or who am I to wear this or I don't have the right to you know lead people like this or who would want to hear anything I have to say or who would want to see me I feel like you had those feelings those swords are being removed because I see you really standing in your power and being like boom here I am um and I I for some of you guys I feel like you're going on trips or you're traveling for some of you guys you're like um you know, you may be more heavy on social media because maybe you're just feeling better, so you want to share that part. Um, or it could be, again, career. You're really focused on your career and your work and really focused there. Um, it's like a glow. And I think you've always had that glow, but what you're doing is removing the swords that made you want to hide the glow, if that makes sense. Um, so that's what I'm, I'm really, really seeing. And that's why I'm being told to bide you know, your finances and money right now because I feel like whatever it is, this this next timeline you're stepping onto, which I feel like you're going to have more ideas as time goes on in regards to, you know, like I was saying, now that I've painted this wall, I think this suit. And now that I've got that table, I think we could get a vase to go on there. It's almost like now that I've, um, let's, let's uh, think of an idea. Now that I've... Uh, saved up up that money to have this car and i had this car in mind um as i've been testing cars i've actually realized this is the type of thing that i want now and actually it's better for me because now i have somebody left over to have this instead and now it works out even better so it's almost like as time goes on it's like you're tailoring things and tailoring parts of your energy and the new ideas come in again um of what's to come because i just think that you're getting really um you're really listening to what your soul truly wants and really stepping and holding honing that energy i also feel like you're getting to know um your own needs more what your own likes and dislikes more because the thing is is that when we with your energy, I almost feel like you've always been a very bright light, but I think maybe you've tailored yourself to other people, which has sometimes had you not really know yourself too much. So there's always been a question maybe of like, who am I? Um, and I see you guys really understanding, no, this is who I am. This is who I am. Um, and this is what I like. And this is what I do. So it's like you're really coming into your own like that. Um, that's why I'm not being shown like a specific, this is the timeline. I just see you guys being really confident in a level of leadership, being very in control of your finances and being more on the go. Because I feel like this highest timeline you're stepping onto, it feels very Aries energy. Uh, it feels very fiery. We have the strength and the emperor here, but it does feel like Aries energy. Um, and that's why you're being called to like, buy the money there um if you know that you're going to be wanting to drop money um later on because i feel like there's something you're building towards or something you want to do um but it almost feels out of reach and i see you guys putting plans and motions to get there but you're removing these swords and i think what brings you onto this timeline is feeling dissatisfied where where something is so it's like um I know I could be making more money and I know that that's something I could have so why am I not doing it or I know that I could be um out there feeling a lot more confident but I'm just settling for this why I, I you know I'm happy where I am but I also feel like I deserve more and why am I settling so I see that shift coming in um and you guys just feeling that little bit that tiny feeling of dissatisfaction which actually springs you to action um yeah so pile and I do feel what you're sitting in in regards to like oh I feel like a little bit dissatisfied it doesn't mean that the life you created for yourself wasn't right it just means that you've grown out grown out of that shell you needed that energy that you may be feeling a bit dissatisfied with now you needed that energy for the time period because maybe you were healing maybe you needed to be in that cocoon maybe you needed that sort of energy at that time um and that's what you've stepped into but the reason you're feeling that need for more uh is because you've outgrown you've outgrown the shell you don't 
need to be in that cocoon anymore it's time to butterfly out uh pile number one pile number one's highest timeline we have heartache and loss pile number one's highest timeline please spirit guides oh we have heartache and loss transformation and financial and material changes yeah i think you're stepping onto a timeline with a lot more abundance um but i feel like this abundance feels fluid so it's like um you may be like working from home or maybe calling the shots you may be working on the go you may be traveling for work uh you could have multiple streams of income that's what i'm seeing here uh and i think that your confidence and knowing that you're worth it um because you're worth it i feel like your confidence and knowing that i feel like that's what's bringing it in that's what's bringing in the change um but i do see a significant like purge but it's because i feel like you've mastered that purge set it like I, I feel like you've mastered the energy of like oh something's coming up from my shadow let me feel it and allow it to flow out um i don't see it lasting super long this heartache and loss energy i see it lasting a couple weeks um and even when you're doing it you're I don't know why I'm seeing somebody laughing while, while they cry because it's like oh my god I'm feeling this it's coming out I know when it's coming out um or it's almost like oh my god I feel really safe to say this now and I know that those projections people put on me weren't true and I feel really safe to just say this because I know it isn't true so I'm just gonna purge it out and cry it out and I, I see you almost crying and then somebody's either laughing or, there's a lot of you watching so either somebody's gonna be laughing when they're doing it crying laughing and going oh my god it's actually coming out it's actually coming out or I see somebody having an epiphany while they're crying and be like, wow, it's actually floating away from me. This isn't my reality. And I see that beautiful, like kind of abundant energy. And then it's like, I'm sitting and I'm like, I really do deserve more. Let's go and get more. And I see that coming in. Um, and new beginnings, of course, because I just feel like, for you guys specifically, for my pal number one specifically, I just feel like you've let go of a lot of projections that have been placed on you. Um which is creating a really big overhaul in just your life in general when you understand you're worthy um, of love of abundance and all of that when you understand that it's a game changer because everything shifts around you you know what i mean you, everything does and i just see that for you and I, that's why i see you guys having fun it, it's almost like this next timeline for you this highest timeline is you having fun and enjoying yourself uh and that's why you're almost being called to put things in order right now because you're like it's i'm making the bed before i get in it and i'm cleaning the sheets you know if we want like a really good night's sleep and we want to feel comfortable getting in that bed we want to clean the sheets you know what i mean we want to like clean everything we want to make the bed make it nice and pretty set the ambiance um and do all of that and it's almost like that's what you're doing uh by saving up money and focusing on something whether it's doing a course or physically working out you know all of that i i see that and even the work that you're doing in inwardly like uh shadow work and things that may come up um i don't even see you guys sitting down to do shadow work i just see it naturally coming up it's almost like you're telling yourself i'm ready for the new okay well let's get rid of this and then it just pops up and i just see you guys flowing with it uh which is really really interesting because i just feel like you've done a lot of internal work somewhat of mastered that element of just letting it out you know um we have the waning give us moon now with the waning give us moon we're literally heading towards a new moon so i just see what you're doing in this cycle right now and i'm being called to pull you into the right now because i think being present is what's aiding this this new energy coming in and this timeline you're stepping onto to come in um like i said the winning give us is heading towards that new moon that fresh energy so it's, it's like you're you're i wouldn't say you're set in seeds you're what i think you've already set the seeds i think you're watering the seeds and i think you're just um kind of like biding time and i see you guys getting things in order and I see you guys stepping up to that energy as well. Like, I know something's new, new is coming. So I'm getting things in order. Um, I don't know why. I have some of you guys, and I don't feel like it's right now. I feel like it might have been over the last six months or something like that. Have you guys been having the urge to, like... Um, I see somebody buying a suitcase, and it's like, I don't know why I'm buying that. Or somebody's, like, 
buying something for a car and you don't even have a car yet and you're like i don't know why i'm buying that i just felt the need to or you're just buying clothes and it's like i don't where am i going why am i buying clothes i just see somebody doing that because it's almost like they intuitively know that's the next step um or like buying gym equipment it's like i don't know why i'm buying gym equipment i have no idea why i'm doing it maybe you bought gym equipment like a year ago and you're like it's just sitting there and i'm not using it and i don't know why and then all of a sudden you like spring into action and you're using it constantly and it's like this is why are you um you know you bought them clothes and then all of a sudden you're going on this trip and you needed those clothes like you may live in a hot country but for some reason you bought you know snow boots and a big fluffy jacket and you have no idea why you bought it and it's like i don't know why i bought that i have no idea and then it's like in the next couple of months it's like oh i'm going to the french alps you know and it's like oh i really need that it's like oh i need snow boots and a jacket wait i bought it so i see something like that coming in um and you guys having an aha moment like oh my god it all connected i knew this back when i was in the cocoon that's so interesting so i really see that coming in um and i think this is more the sense of like biding time but i think you're really close the winning gibbous is like on its way um to that kind of like new moon energy and i just see you guys um you guys had in that like i see you guys it's like so close i'm just letting these last things come out or i'm just getting things in order this was like the last stage and i can feel it if that makes sense um pile number one pile number one please spirit guides pile number one what is pound number one's highest timeline that they're stepping towards i feel like some of you guys are stepping towards a timeline where you are we have balance um i see you guys step into a timeline where you are more active doing things i see some of you guys really like being around communities of people or just really going getting out there making friends uh making connections i'm hearing social connections i keep being taken to the 11th house um you may be on like i said the internet i was seeing that i see you guys maybe being on the internet a lot more starting you know a social media account maybe for your work or career or something like that or just something you do on sidelines you don't mind being seen sort of thing i see that just me networking i see networking as well um you may get a lot of invites that come out of nowhere I'm really seeing that but with the balance card right now it's almost like you're you're tending to what needs to be tended to and keeping that balance right now before that energy starts to spring out you know um in ways you're in the spring phase right now um and this highest timeline you're stepping onto and that's readily available for you it's summer energy um so in the spring we start to plant the flowers and we water them and then summertime they really you know it's like they really are in full swing in the summer. So I see it being kind of springtime right now, uh, which is lovely. And the weather hasn't even got super hot yet, you know, in the summer. So it's like springtime. It's like where um, we can still have showers and it can still be a bit cloudy and rainy. And it's not, we're not fully there yet, but then summertime comes and it's, you know, nice and hot. At least in some countries, it isn't in Wales. We still get rain in in summer. It's just that way, but I know in other countries it probably shines continuously and that sounds lovely. <laughs> we don't have that here, but you know, I, I see that. Um, yeah, so let's pull some cards. Pile number one's highest timeline, spirit guides. Pile number one's highest timeline. We have fondue, relax and let your worries melt away. Hmm. Back of the deck, I don't know how to say this, saute, saute, salt, saute. Now is the perfect time to spring into action. Yeah, I see you, <laughs> the spring energy. I see you guys physically putting things in the works. I see you guys physically aligning um, and putting things in order. So think about this highest timeline and what it is that you feel you want to be achieving. Um, what can you do to get there right now physically? You're making physical room for it. Um is it saving up money is it making more money is it uh working out you know what what is it i see this is the phase that you're going into to to really hit that where it needs to be hit and, and to kind of spring to action that way um and relax and let your worries melt away i just want to say that trust you're being held um because when we are having these insecurities maybe crop up and pop out, of course, we then have to feel into 
inadequacy and I'm not worthy and all of that. Um, please don't attach yourselves to these emotions coming through. Allow them to just flow through. Allow them to just come out. Um, don't attach yourselves to them. You know, I see a bit of worry of like, where am I going? Where am I headed? Uh, is this really for me? Uh, and just look, look at them, feel into them, but then let them flow away. Do not allow them to linger. Uh, just feel them and let them fall away and acknowledge them as an emotion that is passing. Emotions are just visitors making their way through. So just acknowledge that. Um, and your final card, pile number one's final card, the highest timeline that is opening up to them. We have inspiration. I would definitely say as well for you guys to maybe get mood boards or just follow accounts that you know possess the energies of this timeline that you are stepping onto, especially the energies you may have already. Um, because I almost see like spirit doing that, like showing you things that are gonna inspire you, like maybe beautiful romantic connections or maybe, um, you know, people that have the career that you have and do it well or people that are connected to, you know, material abundance or people that just feel very confident or people that work out and, you know, fitness energies. I see all of that being almost placed in front of you um, to kind of show you, yep, this is where you're headed. This is where you're headed, by the way. Uh, this is the timeline you're stepping onto because we have Isis, goddess of magic. I ask thee to bring your inspiration to me. So pay attention to what's being shown to you right now. Um, it's being shown to you so that you can align with it so that you can kind of use that as inspiration as well but definitely i would say to maybe build some mood boards or maybe write down things that you would like to have um in the back of the deck we have romance uh romance it's a sacred power let it come to me this hour so some of you guys may be opening up to romantic connections um and that's something some of you guys are um aligning with as well so if you do feel inadequate feelings of inadequacy in regards to love and partnerships um remember it's coming up for a reason and I really listen to as well uh really listen to your emotions and what's being purged out because whatever's being purged out is what's being cleared for something more abundant to take its place so if you're purging insecurities in regards to like romance it's because healthier attachment styles and healthier romantic connections are going to make their way in if you guys are feeling you know not comfortable in your physical body or you guys are just not feeling confident in just who you are in general listen to those feelings because they're being purged out because that level of confidence and energy and you guys feel in more in control um and more happy in your physical body that's making its way in so really take heed of, of what's being purged out because i think it's going to give an inkling as to what's coming in um and new feelings that are going to come in um so yeah pile number one that is what i have for you guys i really hope that you enjoyed the reading hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did i'm sending you guys all of my love i hope you have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you're watching and hopefully i will see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching hey pal two welcome to your reading so we are taking a look at what your highest timeline is what timelines are opening up to you um and how you can align with that so you guys chose the lemurian quartz and i wanted to say when i was actually choosing um, the crystals for each pile i always do that intuitively and energetically and when i was choosing you guys as crystal the first thing i heard before i even felt drawn to any crystal was clear perspective clear perspective and i felt the urge to get you know a very clear crystal like clear quartz or something like that and when i picked up the lemurian um seed crystal i kept hearing janae aiko song calm and patient uh and she sings i don't just get by i thrive right at the beginning and I heard that part when I honed in on the Lemurian quartz and I just felt really like that crystal needed to be you guys' pile um so there's a strong significance as to why you would have been drawn to that crystal because it felt really really strong and I do want to say that you guys almost feel like you're mastering or have mastered uh this energy of even when we think of that song calm and patient you just think of those two words I'm very grounded in my energy i'm not looking outside of myself and i it, it reminds me of like the empress energy you know i don't just get by i thrive it's like whatever's meant for me is meant to be for me i almost feel like some of you guys may be putting your hands up to the universe and go and take me where i need to be um 
placed um, in order to reach my highest fulfillment. So some of you guys may not have an, an actual idea of maybe what your highest timeline could be. Um, you're just more so feeling this inner knowing of I know it's going to be good or you may be feeling this need to just be very focused on the present right now um, and not really looking outside of yourself which is really beautiful and I feel like that's in a way your way of being taken to this new timeline. I think that there's very little restrictions in your energy that is stopping anything new and abundant coming in um I, I just see you guys almost like putting your arms up I see the judgment card and I just see you guys putting your arms up to spirit and the universe and just being like take me where I need to go um I'm open to whatever you have in store for me and it, there's this calm energy um so I see you guys either reaching that or already being in in it um when this new timeline is opening up to you and I see kind of like endless possibilities, which is quite interesting. It, it, it's interesting how I don't particularly have like one pathway, but we'll see what comes through. Um, so pile number two is highest timeline. What is the highest timeline opening up to my pile number twos? What is the highest timeline that is opening up to my pile number twos? What is the highest timeline? We have the devil and the eight of swords. When I look at the Devil of the Eight of Swords, I'm thinking of um, in Harry Potter when Hermione, Ron and Harry were stuck. I always thought it was snakes and I watched it the other day and it was actually plants. Um, and they kind of fall into this pit with all of these plants and they're basically strangling them and could literally end up taking them out. Um, and the only way they can get out of it is really by surrendering, which makes me think that maybe to get to this state of I'm open to anything, you may have had to surrender and go through a level of... Um, an ego death or a purge um to really take you where you need to go because the way you come in so fluidly you may be my water pile or it could just be an energy you're possessing uh it's like i'm not fighting anything i'm not fighting off anything i'm just open and i trust and i think that's what's bringing you there uh 100 pile number i think in the past you might have tried to control control where connections were going control where your life was going just because that made you feel safe maybe you didn't have a lot of stability in childhood um i'm seeing a lot of like uranus energy so you may um have a lot of that rule in your chart um or you may have just have a lot of planets in aquarius I, I just see a lot of like shifts and changes i don't really have a stable place to go so the way i deal with that is i may be trying to control things um and i think you've had to really let go of that so I, I kind of feel like you've already undergone a very big transition or a very big purge or a very big ego death that's kind of taken away any restraints that would have allowed you to control anything um because i think fear would have had you control situations so they didn't go in the way that they were supposed to and I feel like that's gone it's left it's no longer part of your reality um pile number two what potential timelines are opening up to my pile number twos hang on oh god sorry guys your card has fallen we have the sun and you know what's funny about the sun coming out Ron from harry partner he didn't surrender so the plants were literally taking him out right and hermione does this spell and she remembers that this i think it's called like the devil snare which is funny because we literally have the devil card here um hermione is like oh devil snare hits sunlight so she shines the sun on like with her wand obviously on these plants she does a spell to shine sun on it and all of a sudden the plants let go of ron and ron falls through uh, which is really interesting. So I see you. I'm hearing Light Up My Life. What song is that? God Knows I Tried by Lana Del Rey. And she sings at the end, Light Up My Life. I just, it, it's almost like you've got a wand and you're just shining light everywhere. You know that's, you know that uh, video of Jim Carrey and he's like pointing at things and everything's just kind of going his way and he's like dancing through the street. I'm sure it was Jim Carrey. Um, I see you guys walking into this highest timeline like that and it's almost like I have control of my own energy and I have control of my own reality and I'm open to all the abundance coming in and I know I'm blessed and I just see a lot of happiness and it's like boom boom and there's no expectation it's just like I'm good right here chilling walking down this road and it's the best day like I just feel good and I, I see that's bringing in that energy too because I keep being shown the sun with Hermione's wand and it's like boom 
boom, I surrender, I surrender. And it's it's quite interesting. It's, it's like you're bringing that sun into your life, which is kind of taking you there. Pile number. I just feel happiness is a state of mind. And I feel like you've got rid of all the restrictions that were stopping that. Um, it's like any of that devil snare, that plant that was holding you back. It's almost like you've shunned the sun on it. You don't have any control of me. You don't have that hold over me. No, 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 no. And I just see you doing that. Pile number two's highest timeline. I'm here and show me how good it can get. Show me how good it can get. Pile number two's highest timeline. What is the timeline opening up to my pile number two's highest timeline? You have the seven of cups and the star. Interesting. We have the five of swords at the back of the deck. Okay, so this is the past energy that we're coming out of. The five of swords facing... I see like a whole journey here. It's like... What I had in... This is past energy, by the way. What I have in my life, it isn't serving me. It isn't making me happy. I'm not getting what I want back out of situations or nothing's going my way. Even when I try and control it, what's the point? Um, what can I do to work through this? I'm kind of getting annoyed. I want this rebirth. We then have the devil card. So it's like I'm facing my wounds, anything that was holding me back. Why do I try and control these things? Why am I trying to control these out outcomes? Why am I trying to keep myself safe? why aren't i and i opening up to that flow what's going on here why are these insecurities coming from i'm gonna face them dead on i'm swimming down to the bottom of this lake where i'm kind of being pinned down and held some of you guys may love harry potter because i'm being shown harry swimming down to save ron in the goblet of fire film where he's like underwater and he has to like thing the mermaids away um lots of harry potter references uh Yes, with the Eight of Swords, it's like I'm untying myself and liberating myself from feelings of insecurities, feelings of inadequacy, where I was settling for less, um, all of that, where I feared this, I feared love, I feared whatever. And it's the way I'm doing it is I'm shining the sun on it. So I'm activating these energies, I'm re removing them, I'm alchemizing them because fire is alchemy. I'm alchemizing myself. Um, and then we have the Seven of Cups, which I feel like is where your energy is kind of like head into. Guys, I want to tell you, you're kind of like, it, you may not physically see it yet, but energetically you're on your highest timeline because I'm hearing calm and patient. So it's almost like I'm not trying to jump to a new timeline. I'm here. I'm just waiting for it all to come in. Or I'm just starting now to, you know, I've now landed on this island and I wanted to be here for a while. And I'm just kind of sitting here and I don't really know where to get food from yet. And I don't really know what I'm going to do with the place yet. I don't even know where I'm going to sleep, but I'm being calm and patient and I know I'm going to find the right things. And when I feel ready to go for that walk... I know I'll find what I need and I know I'll find, you know, I've, everything's going to come to me easily um, because I don't just get by, I thrive in the words of Janae Aiko. So it's like, as time goes on, then it's like, I see you guys trying new things out and it's reminding me of Titanic. I don't know why I'm just being shown Rose when she goes down to the, like, the lower part of the boat with Jack and she uh she's like dancing with everybody and she's like drinking the the beer there and she does the little ballet thing i i just see the next phase of your life being that i see you guys enjoying things that you might not have been able to enjoy before um you may even like be open up to romance in a sense of i don't know how this is gonna go but even if it doesn't end i just want to create experience sorry guys my camera cut out but there's this feeling of like I just want to experience life. I want to live in the moment. I don't really have expectation. Maybe I'll travel here. Maybe I'll go on holiday here. Maybe I'll just randomly take a class. I see you guys living in the moment and getting to know yourself and not feeling ch like I, I see in the past you felt chained, felt chained by what people expected you to be, how people expected you to look, what people expected um, you to do with your career, having this much money because you felt worthy by it. I almost felt like you were running on a treadmill with a donut in front of you. And it's like, I have to keep going. I have to keep going but a treadmill you're not really running anywhere you're just running in the same spot and it's like the donut's being like pulled away from me and I keep trying to chase something and I feel like maybe what you felt like you were chasing was maybe your own worthiness or maybe you felt like you were chasing um you were trying to maybe show people I am worthy and I, I can um 
I can have like what you guys want or trying to step into all connections like look I, I am lovable whereas I feel like all of that's being sourced inside of you to the point that you're just experiencing things for the fun of it I almost feel like you feel very rebirthed in the sense of I'm just ready to I, I see the fool energy in regards to your next highest timeline because it's like I see you guys having fun and really savor in life and making connections and enjoying life. Um, I feel like maybe you've had a timeline like that before, but you weren't able to enjoy it because there was a lot of insecurities and not feeling good enough. Whereas I feel that, that phase sort of coming in again um, and it's a playing ground for you to really learn about yourself and learn about what you like. And there's no expectations to it at all. You're really enjoying yourself, making advances in places like your career and things like that and just really enjoying having memories with people and making memories and finding joy in the little things because you don't need a hundred trophies on the wall to make to for you to feel adequate you're in just enjoying life i see you guys literally sitting there feeling like wow i really enjoy life the way i can explain it the other day i was in the garden and i've always been someone that's just like i want to go home i don't like being here i don't feel safe on earth i don't feel comfortable and the other day i was just sitting in my garden and i just had this epiphany of like i love being here I love where I'm at. I love earth. I love human beings. Like, I love this. And I don't want to be anywhere but here. Because a lot of times I look to the stars and be like, I want to go home. And I just had this love and this emotional feeling of like, I feel home right here. In my garden, with my cats. Like, I feel home. And I feel safe. And I see you guys doing that, but with joy. It's like, I, I see you guys like having a moment where it's like, you're either going to be around people or just experiencing something new and it's like I feel joy like I feel happy I, I feel good I feel alive you know when people say to live doesn't mean you're alive it's like I'm not chasing anything I'm just here and I'm alive and I'm happy I see that happening for you um I see invitations happening you had in somewhere I see you guys making friends just even enjoying like the littlest things like sitting in the garden and um planting flowers and it's like oh my god like I feel so excited by that so I see even little things like that and even when I'm being taken to like the Titanic with um Rose you know she felt restrained in her everyday life she had to be someone that she was and she had to um you know it's like oh we're upper class and we do this and we don't do any of that whereas when you see her and she goes down to the bottom of the deck and with Jack it's like she's enjoying herself I think that's one of the first times she really smiles in that film and enjoys herself and lets down uh, lets her hair down and she's just like drinking and dancing and I think a guy like falls over and she laughs because it's like oh my god it's just she's just living you can see she's just sprung to action and she's living and I see that being your highest timeline next because I think that you're really getting to know yourself and your likes and and what you really like and I, I just see that and it just feels really beautiful and I see that's where you're what you're aligning with um I really, really love that for you. And that's why I'm here in Calm and Patient because right now things may feel still, um, but you'll know when... I feel like you may meet someone significant on this highest timeline for you. Um, I think that you're going to meet someone significant that's going to help you spring to action or like allow you to... Um, they may invite... Like I feel like you're going to meet someone significant that's either going to invite you somewhere um, or... They're just gonna ignite something in you. Uh, and not that they're the cause of the happiness. It's not that at all. It's opening up. Because I'm hearing if you see the wonder of a fairy tale, you can face the future even if you fail. So I almost feel like thoughts that you would have had maybe in daydreams of like, I wish I could do this, or I wish I had this, or I wish I had that. I see you live in it, which is really beautiful. Um, but there's no expectation. So there's no restriction in regards to it happening. Um, there's no pain controlling that or shadow controlling that she would have faced it and let go of it. I don't think it's your final destination. I do think that this phase being your highest timeline, it's evolving you and aligning you for more. Um, but I see this really, really happy phase where you're getting in touch with what you truly want and getting to know those brighter sides of you, those lighter sides. Because maybe you've been getting to know your shadow and understanding why things went that way. Now you're learning your you know, that sun energy, that brighter energy, that lighter energy, that higher self, that, you know, what your heart truly wants and getting to know that. And then I see um, beyond that highest timeline, it's like another highest timeline again, where it's almost like I'm calling this in and I'm calling this in and maybe you're building um, or you're building on top of what you've already built, if that makes sense, uh, which is really, really beautiful. But I see, 
I almost feel like a three year span of just like joy and, and opening up to that abundance and just having fun. Um, I feel excitement. And it's like, see, I was settling for this and I knew there was more for me. That's what I feel with that card. So let's pull some more cards. Pile number... Pile number two. Pile number two is highest timeline. We have mental conflict. Pile number two is highest timeline. What timelines are opening up? Fulfillment and wish of wishes. And passion ignited. And the back of the deck you have rejoice and celebration. I feel so excited. Yeah, in the past, I feel like you mentally might have restricted yourself without realizing it because you might have tried to control outcomes. So you could have had like a romance with someone and yeah, okay, it might not have lasted that long, um, but it could have been something for what it was in that moment. But you may have felt that feeling of, um, that's gonna trigger my abandonment wounds. And I, unless it's like a long lasting love that I have for the rest of my life, I don't want it, oh my God. And it's like a frustration. And it, it's like, no, I can't have that now. I can't have that now, but I really want it. And maybe that's what caused a mental, um, a mental conflict, which it's fine. We have wounds that can control outcomes like that. And it's, it, I think it was your inner child keeping you safe. I could get hurt if I love, I could get hurt if this happens, I could get hurt. And I feel like, um, you've been teaching your inner child it's okay I've got you it's fine and we can embrace anything because there's this feeling of I came to earth to experience and to love I don't want to hide myself away from pains and things like that I have to be vulnerable and open up and just live in the moment and experience that it's all part of life and I I see it's almost like your inner child's like okay I get it I feel safe I feel safe I'm ready and I see you guys jumping into that and, and just really enjoying and savoring what's around you in that moment um, which is really really beautiful really really beautiful and fulfillment of wishes and passion ignited i feel like you're really gonna be in a go-getter energy where you're really going towards what really makes you feel good on the inside and really listening to your heart space um i'm gonna jump into this connection because i feel my heart space connected here not because i feel like they're validating something in me or because i am experiencing a wound with this person i just I like to be around this person and they're coming into my life or I want to be around this friendship group because they make me feel really good and I love and I enjoy being around them and it's fun and, and this is where I'm at um, or I want to put my energy towards this career because it makes me happy um, I don't mind being shown horses somebody might be wanting to ride horses or something like that um, but I just see that the plane's going over our head so it could be like I really want to travel here let's go do it so I see that coming in for you guys as well which is really beautiful um because i see a moment where things may feel really fast paced and you almost take a moment to yourself and it's like oh my god i'm living what i wanted i feel really good and everything's just aligning and it's really beautiful pile and savoring things as well um being really present with them pile number two pile number two is highest timeline that's opening up we have mercury interesting back of the deck you have the sun <laughs> i'm not shocked at that okay why do we have mercury spirit guides i see you guys really linking up with some really interesting people i'm seeing a lot of like um I don't know why I see you guys even like coming out of your shell and maybe matching someone like let's go do this let's go do that and it's really out of the norm um but like listening to your intuition and knowing like I feel really called here and then you meet someone significant there or it could just be um someone reaches out to you and is like do you want to do this and you're like well that was random but okay and then you head somewhere with someone and then it's like you meet someone super significant and something just forms and aligns in that way. Um, or you randomly bump into someone and they're like, what are you doing right now? And you're like, nothing. It's like, oh, I'm going here. Do you want to come? And you're like, yeah. And it's like, a, I see a bunch of people maybe aligning. So I kind of feel like maybe you're meeting your soul tribe or connecting with your soul tribe. There's something really abundant there. But I see like somebody randomly getting a text or somebody reaching out to someone or someone being, being in communication with someone and then just randomly taking the leap to go and see them. They could live overseas or something like that but it's like yeah let's just go let's just do it so i see something like that happening um which is really really lovely um 
some fast paced energies for sure but it's not in a toxic way or in a uh in a way where it's like this is too much because at the beginning i heard calm and patient so it's almost like it comes at the right time and it helps activate parts of you at the right time which is really really lovely uh so pile number two pile number two pile number two please for guides pile number two Pile number two is highest timeline. Pile number two is highest timeline. You have like extra cards coming out for you guys. We have abundance at the back of the deck. But I see you guys feeling that abundance from within, which is creating abundance elsewhere. Um, so we have rhythm. And we have light, which I'm not shocked again at light coming in. Um, because I was here in Let There Be Light by Lana Del Rey from God Knows I Tried. Um so again rhythm it's like following your own intuition following your own rhythm listening to why your energy is taking you i feel like that's what's going to align you with what's right for you i don't see you coming outside of yourself to do this i just see everything kind of coming to you which is really beautiful i'm not saying you're just like laying there expecting i just feel like you've already done a lot of work on yourself to get yourself here anyway uh it's just that things are like then forming around you because you've done that work and then you know with light again it's a sun energy it's like you're shining i see someone literally like that scene that jim carrey does when he's just walking down the street and he's just pointing at things and he's just happy i'm sure it's jim carrey but like i feel really excited and happy and it's like i know that what's for me is going to be for me i see you guys just feeling really abundant uh, which is really lovely pile number two um pile number two please for guides pile number two is highest timeline Pile number two is highest timeline. Some of you guys may have been drawn to panel number one and two. I'm just that just came through. I see somebody watching panel number one, then watching panel number two, and it's like I almost feel like panel number two might be the continuation of pile one. I don't know. Um, that's just what I'm getting. You don't have to be uh, connected to both of them. It's just what I saw. Pile number two. Pile number two is highest timeline. Please, spirit guides. We have Daria. Do you feel like you are falling behind? Don't worry, life is not a race. And you see how he's got the yellow top on, which is that solar plexus energy. It's like in the past, you felt like to be worthy, I have to maybe have this or to find that abundance. I have to have this because that's what everybody's telling me that I have to have. So it's like I'm trying to maybe gain acceptance or try to gain abundance doing this because I'm being told that makes me worthy. But then it's almost like either you reach it or you just feel like, I'm hearing uh, Mirabelle from Encanto and she's like, nothing will ever be good enough for you. Like, Louise will never be strong enough. Isabella will never be pretty enough or perfect enough. Like, nothing's good enough for you. So I see you guys reaching a thing where it's like, nothing I'm doing is enough. Nothing I'm doing is enough. And then it's like, why do I want to be there enough? Why don't I just be enough for myself? And I see you guys, you know, kind of glowing from the inside then. And once you've worked through those, those energies, you know? um we do have tendu at the back of the deck are you feeling stretched or can you push your can you push even further to reach your goals yeah i feel like you may have um really bent over backwards a lot uh trying to maybe prove that you're worthy or prove that you um it's almost like i'm being told if i'm in a connection or if i'm lovable enough then that's when i'll feel happy and that's when life will be good and it's it's almost like you're redefining what happiness is and where that abundance comes from and where confidence comes from. It's like, actually, this is confidence to me. This is abundance to me. This is happiness to me. Um, happiness is in these little things because anyone could have looked at like Rose and Titanic and gone, she's the epitome of like abundance and happiness. She has a really rich husband. She wears all these pretty clothes. She's beautiful. She, you know, she's on the Titanic. Who can afford that? And she's in high class and she's, just got everything that she wants she was miserable and when you see when rose was her happiest was again when she went down to the lower deck and was just dancing drinking cheap beer and just having fun with everybody and just being a normal person that's when she found her happiness in those little moments so i see you guys kind of like you wanted me to have that but this is actually my idea of happiness and i and i love this and that's your highest timeline that you're stepping onto so final card 
number two. We have success. <laughs> Let me just put these. Oh, that's good enough. Um, we have success that truly belongs to me. Success with honor and integrity. Yeah, I see you guys as well. Like, it could have been like, I'm supposed to have this really expensive car because that means I'm worthy. And then it's almost like, no, you want me to have this expensive car because you determine that that's worthy. Like, you determine that having that Range Rover is worthy. I really like that car over there. That makes me really happy. That's cute. So why would I stretch myself out to go and get that? Because you're all saying I'll be worthy if I have it. I think I'm worthy of driving that car. That would make me more happy. And it's like, you're looking at it like that. And it's like, I, maybe I don't need this. or don't need that. Um, and it's not a case of like, oh, I'm going smaller. Like, it, it's not like that. It's not like, oh, I'm having something smaller because I, it's like, I'm trying to like, how to explain it? I don't mean it in the sense of I'm saving my money and I'm going for something smaller. I'm doing that. It's more so you wanted this for me you wanted me to have that job you told me that i'd be lovable if i did x y and z but actually i feel lovable in a different like when i'm doing something different you told me if i dress like this and i look like this that people would want me but actually i just like being myself and being myself i don't even feel happy dressing like that i feel happy dressing like this and this is what makes me feel happy and if you don't like it then maybe you're not for me i'm not tailoring myself so that you think that i'm worthy or that you think that that's good enough for love or that you think that's successful and not doing it like that's what i see you guys doing so i still see you striving for more but striving for more in the way that connects to your heart space not in a way that you've been told is deemable and you've been told is right or successful it's like you're putting that on me and in actuality you actually have that range over and you're miserable and you actually have that and you're miserable and to be honest with you i didn't even want that until you mentioned it and it was just tied to my ego one in it because you said that it was successful. But now that I'm not trying to reach what you deem as successful because it doesn't make me happy, I have no desire for it. And I see little things like that coming in um, and just being very focused and happy with where you are. On um, the back of the deck, we have inspiration. Isis, goddess of magic, I ask thee to bring your inspiration to me. This came up in pile one, so another significant um, card coming through. You know, I feel like you may have been drawn to pile number one as well um yeah i see it's like what's lighting me up what's lighting me up what makes me happy maybe you had an idea of what you were meant to have in love and it was like i'm meant to have that like you know person that like is all um you know uh how to explain it they have everything they have the house and the cars and they have all of these things and maybe you got that and maybe you were trying to be what that person would want and it's like maybe you got that and it's like actually this person's not nice like I don't like this and I'd much rather um someone that sees me and emotionally connects to me and puts their worthiness and things that aligns with me like you know I, I just see that I see you guys understanding like that's why I didn't settle for that and that's why that didn't work out I was meant to go for more um but more is different to what you thought more might have been um I'm being told pal too so pile number two, that is what I have for you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed the reading. Hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did. I'm sending you guys all of my love. I hope you have a beautiful morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching. And hopefully I will see you guys in my next video. So thank you guys for watching. Hey pal three, welcome to your reading. So we are taking a look at what is the highest timeline that is opening up to you right now and basically just looking at the timelines that are opening up to you and how you can align with your highest timeline um so yeah i'm gonna get straight in i'm gonna start with tarot and then we will move on to your oracle cards so let's get in so pile number three pile number three please spirit guides pile number three's highest timeline straight away we have the queen of pentacles as i was literally being shown somebody walking through a forest um i feel like mother gaia may be calling you to either work with her or to really connect into your root i'm gonna lay the other cards i just think it's interesting that the queen of pentacles comes out as i was shown somebody connecting to mother gaia pile number three pile number three's highest timeline pile number three's highest timeline we have the seven of pentacles of earth energy 
pile number three. Pile number three is highest timeline. The hand man. And the ten of cups. You're going to be placed in a position of being able to guide people and help people and share knowledge that you have. Um... We have the five of cups at the back of the deck, which I'm going to place here. Yeah, I was being shown somebody in a forest really connecting to nature. And I feel like whether it's expertise you have just in... No, no, because I'm connecting with roots when I do that. You have very strong psychic abilities and i think that you have been activating them along your way i think that you're deeply intuitive and i think that you are someone that works with energy very well and i see you guys stepping into a timeline where you are placed in a position where you can share knowledge or inspire people because i keep being shown like a higher energy so it's almost like mother guy kind of connecting to you or just universal energies that you guys are tapping into um you know when i think of like um okay so on earth there's lots of cycles that go on and even though we have our own timelines that we're shifting to and jumping onto collectively we all have um timelines and energies that are being activated and what happens is a bunch of people will connect to it first and then it trickles and trickles i see you guys answering a call in answering um mother gaia because i see mother gaia gaia's energy coming through and it's like they need to root themselves back in they've been disconnected from me they've been disconnected from themselves they need to be more connected to themselves because if they were they'd not only be treating each other better they'd be treating themselves better they'd be treating me better the earth better um, and they're not doing it so we need to do something to help them connect back to themselves so it's almost like her energy is calling out i see you guys and this collective that's watching this i see all of you kind of like cure and answering that energetically connecting to that and being like right okay what can i do and i see you guys um being placed energetically or having an intuitive call to really be um offering your services or knowledge to people i see some of you writing a book or getting information out in a book or putting things to paper and writing things out some of you guys may start a vlog but i don't know why i'm being taken to a book um it's just something that's coming through uh i see some of you guys maybe aligning with certain platforms in order to get messages out in order you know you could be letting other guys speak through you spirit speak through you or really just helping people rewire their energy and come back to self and come back to their own power so that they can align with their higher energies and that they can connect to their own roots and realize their own power um so i see like maybe you guys have been tailoring your energy to really be placed in that position meaning that maybe you guys at one point were disconnected from your power and had that awoken in you now you are being placed in a position to allow um to activate that in other people i just got a really strong whiff of palo santo um it kind of was like palo santo oil it doesn't have to be it could just be you using that or it could be something you work with um, or are being told to work with but i just smelt palo santo oil um felt like essential oil it's just quite interesting that came through really really strong um but i feel like you're here to really activate and bring knowledge i think there's something specifically that you may have knowledge in it doesn't have to be something directly connected to nature um because we're all beings of mother gaia and anything that we can use to detangle ourselves from webs of karma we are elevating mother gaia's consciousness on our own so it could just be that you guys have really good knowledge in like astrology numerology human design psychology counseling uh physical you know the physical body and fitness herbology uh uh what the, the you know di di dietary things i forgot the word for it. nutrition that's it that's it that's the word nutrition you guys know things like you guys have been prepped with this i feel like for a lot of you guys your whole life um whether it's even just internally you guys have always been able to read people you've always been able to connect with spirit you guys have always um been really good artists you guys have been really good at communicating with people i see you guys being placed in positions where you can help people it doesn't have to be online with a large mass of you know followings it could be you opening a stall in your hometown and really opening up to services to help people in that way but i see your highest timeline is you being in place in a position where you're allowing that knowledge to come out and it's seeding and you may think oh well you know i could put a book out but like i don't really have many um you know people that might be interested and it could be like you put a book out and it's like oh right now there's only 50 people that have 
purchase the book or are reading it for a start that's 50 people beyond yourself that are reading something and having a seed planted so you're already contributing there those seeds are going to grow in them people and they could go on to inspire people beyond there but on top of that they could tell their friends who tell their friends who tell their friends and it grows and evolves in that way everybody who um like i'm being shown tupac when he said I may not be the one to change the world, but I'll be the one to inspire the brain of the person that changes the world. So I just see you being placed in very vital positions where you guys are really helping and connecting with people and being in a place. I just almost feel like you're meant to be seen or heard. And I feel like I'm sure that came up in a pick a card the other day. So I feel like it's just me reinforcing that energy of you're meant to be seen. You have things within you that need to come out. I see somebody sitting on a gold mine. Um, so I feel like your highest timeline right now is very focused on career. Are you just getting your knowledge out there in some sort of way? I feel like you're really being positioned there. And I think you have really good knowledge um, that's, that's really meant to come through. Like the Queen of Pentacles coming into the Seven of Pentacles. Um, so it's like you're seeding things with the Hanged Man. It's like you're bringing in that information. Um, and even if things don't feel like, uh, well, how can I even start from here? Like, even just using me as an example, when I started my YouTube channel, I had three subscribers. One of them was my mom. You know what I mean? Like, that's how it started for me. I didn't, and I wasn't posting on social media. I just started to post and people came when they needed to. And now we are all here with me thank you very much for being here but that's how it it happens you know what i mean it's like you plant a seed and it grows um you know one seed in the ground can just create one tree that then creates like 50 apples that then have seeds in that and they fall to the ground and there's a hundred apples and it, you know it's just that spark and i see that's um i i don't know why i just keep being taken to jupiter because i'm being shown like an expansion and an abundance of energy coming through um for you guys specifically with career and your work and knowledge that you have right now um which is really really beautiful so i see you answering a call that i think it's part of your mission a part of your soul purpose to teach and guide and i see an influx of energy um so you're really being called to step up and lead and inspire people and bring information through i think that's what's next on your highest timeline um why is the five of cups at the back of the deck i feel like you may have like in the past um not felt like you doing this would be beneficial or how would that even create abundance for me and i think maybe in the past you've tried other things that just didn't work um because there's something you're meant to be doing and i feel like a lot of you guys are having intuitive nudges even if you guys feel a little bit restricted right now even with a hanged man we can feel a little bit restricted in that moment but know that what we need to come to us and align with us and what we you know those intuitive seeds they may be being planted in our mind right now so i just see you guys like being really I, I would say be in the receiving state right now for intuitive nudges to come through of where you need to go if you don't feel like you have an idea if you already have an idea it's kind of like the get-go of you really taking that leap leap in the net will appear and jumping towards it because I think that's your highest timeline right now jump in there in regards to your career which is really 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 beautiful um yeah and I think it's going to bring you a lot of emotional fulfillment too because I think you're going to find parts of yourself in it as well and then I think even other timelines beyond that are going to open up um when you align with it you know um I think more abundance is going to come through but it's not even what you asked for it's just part of the journey it was always meant to happen um that's part of your highest timeline it just starts with that leap being taken um so let's pull some more cards pile number three's highest timeline right now please spirit guides pile number three is highest timeline right now what is pile number three's highest timeline choose wisely pile number three is highest timeline okay card i'm either smelling cinnamon what's that smell is it cinnamon that i'm smelling someone would be eating something with cinnamon in it or like burning cinnamon i don't know i'm just cinnamon's here i don't know cinnamon toast i just shared um we have partnerships and alliances okay yeah i see you aligning with like-minded individuals and it's almost like energetically it's like you're linking up it's like soul tribe sort of energy um everything in this side of your life it feels very yeah this is meant to be we're all on that same sort of like 
wheel and we're all linking up at this time because it's like we're all springing to action we're all answering that call we're all aligning with something yes yeah, spiritual union um it wouldn't shock me if you meet a lot of people on this timeline that are um it's like psychic connections look at them with the third eye together it's like psychic connections it's like oh you feel like part of my soul tribe but like you just align with me so well we we have that we're going in the same direction we have the same cause maybe you've always felt like you stuck out like a sore thumb because people around you didn't have that same cause i see you meeting people that have the same cause and have that same light in their their heart and and it's like you learn from them they learn from you sort of thing so i see that um you know like you could partner with like a really beautiful artist and you're a writer let's let's for example you have an idea for like a tarot deck and you have this idea for it and you've got all these ideas written down and you have the scriptures for um how to create this deck but like art wise you don't you know you don't you might not be an artist you you don't know what to do with it but then you link up with this artist who just comes out of nowhere and it's like this artist is really connected to you know awakening people too and all of that and it's like oh you're like you're using your skill of art and you know imagery to create this deck and i'm creating my illustration not illustration i'm creating the deck through my own downloads and i'm telling you kind of like what to draw and what's going on and I'm, I'm creating this and all of a sudden we have this deck and then it's like it's like really popular and it does really well you know so there's something about that comes through it could be like somebody makes beats whereas you're the singer and then it's like that aligns and blows up there there's a lot of that it could be in regards to anything you know somebody could be really good at psychology whereas somebody could be really good at like energy healing and, and working with energy and then it's like you both link up to build something together and build a foundation together so i see that happening as well um why do we have choose wisely though i don't want to know what that's about i think it's choose wisely and what you're investing in um can be with finances but i just think it's what you're in literally like investing in um and who you're investing in um if you start to feel a restriction flip it on its head and try something different so for example if you're wanting to get your work out there through uh instagram and you feel like there's a restriction try tiktok if you know it, it's that sort of thing or um if you are wanting this particular job but there's a restriction here try this job it, it's that sort of thing so be very aware of where energy's flowing um when you're answering this this call and if you're being called to step away from something or someone listen right now because i feel like listening to your energy um is really going to help you because i feel like your energy's guiding you onto this higher timeline where you're meant to be uh pile number three pile number three's highest timeline what is the highest timeline opening up to my pile number three is right now we have the full moon and when we think of like the new moon and the full moon they're very significant times they're super significant times i think that you're entering a phase that's very significant that's going to allow you to make that shift and i think with f the full moon card being the release i think that maybe you be maybe feeling like a snail that's going out of its shell or you may be feeling the need to purge um parts of your old timeline away or pack up parts of your old timeline or move or let go of certain people because you're aligning with something completely different now um that's really aligning with your higher self i feel like you're very connected to your higher self really really strongly which is really beautiful um let's pull some more cards pile number three is highest timeline please spirit guides pile number three is highest timeline what is pile three's highest timeline that they are stepping onto i just keep being told take that leap <laughs> we have boldness this is what i mean there's like a shift it's like i'm gonna do this i'm gonna be seen i'm gonna pop out don't worry about where you're starting. Just remember where you're going and align with it. Um, yeah. You have like the ideas. You have all of it done. It's like start making those moves. Start making those shifts. Anything that isn't aligning with it, snip. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. I just feel like I've outgrown my show. Independence. Yeah, it's like taking the initiative, not waiting for anybody to tell you to do it, not waiting for anybody to give you the get go, not waiting for anybody to agree maybe with what you're doing. Because a lot of the times when we're listening to an internal call, no one can really see it. You know, it's like Moana when she went across the sea. No one understood why she was doing it, but she was chosen to go across the sea to return the heart of defeat. She felt that in her soul. She energetically felt that she did it. 
you know no one wanted her to do that they didn't have her vision to feed he didn't ask them to return the heart so that's why they didn't get it and that's the energy that we have here um with independence and boldness you know you have to be bold to make those shifts and those those moves and you have to really believe in yourself um to align with it pile number three oh goodness pile number three Pile number three, please, for guides. Pile number three, the highest timeline opening up to my pile number threes. We have Port de Bras. What burdens are you carrying? Can you reach out and lend a hand? Ask your spirit guides right now, because honestly, your spirit guides are really working with you strong. Um, kind of like co-workers, if you will. Uh, ask your spirit guides to aid you in releasing anything that is stopping you from being bold and aligning with this and really aligning with your courage. Maybe sit down and write about what your fears are. Um, allow them to be alchemized and purged. Maybe doing a little bit of shadow work that can help you. Um, but sometimes, and I found this, um, taking a leap and then whatever fears come up, working with them as you go uh because even for myself like i channel and download the best in readings i have to sit in an energy and feel it less emptyly and then i channel when i started actually doing youtube videos i didn't even know that i was that good of a channeler i didn't know um because i kind of relied on maybe other gifts like clairvoyancy because i gaslit myself to not believe a lot of things that would come through because they were just being downloaded and through taking that leap instead of my channel even if you watch like my earliest pick of cards you can see a little bit of resistance you don't see things flowing as well as they do now um because i had to learn to just allow it to flow and trust myself and really be faced with that feeling of should i say this should i not say this but just saying it anyway because it was coming through and then having it confirmed back to me actually yeah that was so true um or even you know when i was doing personal readings it was like i i was nervous to do them but and sometimes i'd hold a lot back in regards to like am i meant to be saying this but when i started to just be like this is coming through this is coming through that was when i'd get loads of people going how do you know this what how, how did you get that and that's when i realized oh i just kind of downloaded it oh i i can channel i'm really good at channeling and the reason i, I didn't realize it before was because i was gaslighting myself i didn't think that that was what was coming through and i was blocking it or i just wasn't believing that, that was mine but had i waited until i realized i was a good channeler i would have been waiting forever and i, I never would have posted my first video i never would have done some personal readings i never would have done those things I had to wait and I see that um I, I I wasn't supposed to wait I had to take that leap that's what I was trying to say so sometimes just taking that leap you learn as you go you face your fears as you go you know um so that's another thing that's that's really coming through uh and then we have a leg row things are moving fast for you uh so I see a leap being taken and then it's almost like you're just following your intuition and then it's like things are just aligning like boom 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 things are just aligning you know pile number three pile number three's highest timeline what is pile number three's highest timeline that they're stepping onto right now we have true love shall come to me true love shall come to me as i do well so more it be you may meet someone very significant through your career or taking these leaps that is in the field of doing whatever it is that you're about to do. It could be true love in the form of friendships and soul unions that way, but it could also be true love in the form of actual love and romance. Um, and you meet in that best version of yourself and aligning with that best version of yourself aligns you with that person. And maybe they're doing the same. So I think that maybe taking that leap is going to lead you to a very beautiful partnership. If you're already in a relationship, it could be that um, you align with, you know, beautiful friendships and people that are like you on the inside, which is really beautiful. And I love that I say that because at the back of the deck, we have friendship. Bring to me friendship true. Sharing laughter, understanding too. So you may have felt like you didn't connect to maybe people around you or they didn't quite see you um, because this was all underneath and they didn't see all of this underneath, but you were lining with it and you just popping out. Um, especially in regards to career and stuff like that, people that 
align with it and are like that too are going to align with you and then all of a sudden you're making these friendships and all of a sudden you're making these connections and all of a sudden you're making these you know partnerships and romance and it's like you're connecting with these people even you know just through youtube and like opening up do you know how many of like some of my subscribers have turned into like my friends that I speak to over DM and I'm like pals with, you know, like the people I've collaborated with that I'm so lucky to call friends and th they just look like me on the inside and I don't, they just feel like part of me, even if they're across the world, I, I have that connection with them and it's beautiful because they feel like soul tribe. I f see that aligning with you. Um, whether it's you allocating somewhere or just in a field that you've never fully stepped into before or again online and things like that I really see that for you guys and, and just really making beautiful connections because of that because you're answering that call and, and growing out of you know that shell basically which is really beautiful so pile number three I really hope that you enjoyed this reading hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did i'm sending you guys all of my love i hope you have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you're watching and hopefully i will see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching hey pal four welcome to your reading so we are taking a look at your highest timeline so we're taking a look at potential timelines that are opening up to you and how you can step onto your highest timeline what's on your highest timeline anything that spirit feel you need to know so you chose the canali canalian <laughs> you chose the canelian crystal i'm gonna start with tarot and then we're gonna move on to your oracle cards sorry if my voice sounds a bit croaky by the way i don't know why it feels croaky today i was purging a bit last night so i'm thinking maybe that's why um <clears throat> so yeah i'm guessing so so pile number four please spirit guides tap me into the collective of my pile number fours um pile number four's highest timeline tap me in to the collective of my pile number fours how what is pile number four's highest timeline that they can align with right now what is pile number four's highest timeline right now i'm being told it's about you. I'm hearing that song. I think it was McFly that sang it and they sing It's All About You. I'm hearing that. Um, I'm hearing that because I feel like right now is meant to be about you. That's something that's really strongly coming through. I want to get, let me just get the cards down. Because I keep being taken, guys. I'm not going to lie. Like, I keep, I almost feel like my mind's blanking and then I'm just being taken into like a Sophia and it's just me. Because the minute I said, right now it's just about you, it's like I was in a Sophia. I almost felt like I was in a downloading stage, which makes sense that the High Priestess card came out. Because it was like a cloud, like a like a marble, and it's like I'm sitting inside of it. Um, I don't know what that's about, we'll get into it. But I just feel like, this highest timeline, I feel like you're going to be activating some psychic gifts maybe. I don't know. There's just something about that coming through um or activating something within you it feels because within this energy we have the healing symbols all around it so i almost feel like i keep being taken to the hands as well like reiki healing let me just get the cards down because my energy just shifted i don't know what that was about pile number four pile number four's highest timeline please spirit guides pile number four's highest timelines I keep being shown horses six of pentacles Pile number four's highest timeline, please, spirit guides. Pile number four's highest timeline. Queen of Swords. Pile number four's highest timeline. Justice. Interesting. The back of the deck, you have the Six of Cups. Okay okay it's kind of making sense when okay let me just get this into because it's like i'm getting downloads like i'm really just downloading it and it's like okay but i need to say this normally i download and then it speaks through whereas it's almost like i it's almost like i've been through it like let me just explain it so what i'm being shown is you guys put in a lot to bed before this timeline comes in and what causes this new timeline to come in is you put in things to bed now we've gone past because i'm being taken i'm being whizzed through something so it's like i've gone past the shadow work old news i've gone past the maybe ego death old news like i keep being shown yeah that was a phase i was dealing with my shadow honestly it's gone it's long gone um not saying you'll never heal or do shadow work again we're always constantly healing it's just that i'm almost being told 
right enough of that we've been doing that for a long time let's move and whiz past that because it's like it's taking me somewhere and it's like i just need to go back to understand i can't just be here i need to go back so it's like that's happened it's gone we're whizzing past it and then it's like now i'm tired because i'm purging out so now we're whizzing past that and i see you guys being very fatigued really clearing things out cleansing things out and it's like okay um maybe feeling a little bit stuck and it's like maybe feeling like your power's kind of gone a little bit or your spark's gone a little bit that's gone we've whizzed past that now then i'm being taken to oh you've been really elevating you haven't it isn't just one timeline like you've just gone broop, broop, broop. you know doodle jump when he jumps up that's what spirit showed me you've been doodle jumping <laughs> timelines <laughs> like that's what you've been doing and it's almost like i see you jumping onto a timeline and going you know what this isn't for me let me jump to another one you know what this isn't for me jump. and it's like you're jumping it's really interesting which is probably why i felt like i needed to stop and just be like what is going on um because i see that i see you guys feeling a little bit fatigued and then it's almost like um I'm sitting here now and I, this is where I'm being shown like a glass bubble. You know, like in Dorothy with like the bubble. I keep being shown like a glass bubble and I see you guys in it and it's like, okay, so that's gone now. That time in my life is over now. And I don't know why I keep looking at that time in my life and looking at a goat, like Capricorn energy. So I don't know if you have a lot of like Capricornian, uh, Capricornian. I don't know if you have a lot of planets in Capricorn or you just have a strong Saturn influence over your chart. But I keep looking at it and it's like hard and I'm having to fight and I'm having to push. And it's like that's gone now and it's cleared and I think that's what this white cloud is. So it's like I'm being cleansed and now it's like to move forward now to create what I want. Because it's almost like you're looking out. I'm okay. This may sound crazy, but I know a lot of you guys, you know, you know, you're on the same wave as me. You know what I'm talking about. I almost I'm being taken to your soul like your higher self popping outside of this bubble. And it's like right done and dusted we're done while i'm incubating here in this white cleansing energy we now need to teach the human self that we are in this incarnation and the inner child and all of that now that it's all gone we need to teach them what love is or what um happiness is or where it's coming from so i see you guys going into a stage where and you may not even realize it's happening because it feels like a spiritual upgrade may be happening right now where you are i see you getting your energy back i see you getting your spark back and i see you guys like all of a sudden your mindset just shifts and it's like i see you guys holding your inner child's hand and it's like getting downloads from your higher self this is what love is by the way this is what relationships is by the way this is what you should be striving for and it's almost like you're your higher self is like almost like zapping your energetic body and going this is the new blueprint you've cleared the old blueprint now so now this is the new blueprint and this is what we're following and then i i see it slowly happening at first like i see you guys like maybe feeling a little bit more romantic maybe wanting to travel maybe wanting to um i see this is more connected to like connections though with other people and teaching yourself and also kind of connected to like your worth as well and it, it's it's almost like um, you're getting downloads of where to head to next. And the reason I felt a bit womb at, at, at that moment was because I feel like it's currently happening now. I almost feel like your higher self is in a little bit of review. Like, where are we headed to next? Where are we going? And just like a GPS, I see, like, you guys getting downloads of, like, a new kind of map. So I see you guys going through a little bit of a wobble. Not in a bad way, but where you may just be feeling like, who the F am I? what the f do i want because i used to be a homebody and now i just love being out or i used and even like little things like i used to be a dog person and now i really love cats or i never used to be this you know righteous about like environmental issues and now i am or i used to be such a tomboy and now i'm like really um like feminine you know what i mean or i used to be someone that was more feminine and now i just like to be in my more masculine energy and it's there's a little bit of a crisis in the sense of like who the f am i and there's this feeling as well of like i don't know where i'm going because i almost feel like intuitively you are following a map but it's like that map is kind of you it's outdated so now this new one's coming in and it's almost like you're feeling a bit like a squiff so it's like what on earth like i don't i feel uncomfortable i feel you may be feeling a bit bored you may be feeling a bit um chaotic like what's going on i don't know who i am 
and I, some of you guys may feel like what's it called you know when you have like a soul walk in where soul steps into the physical body but it doesn't feel like that it's almost like more of your higher selves activating and coming through so you have a completely new blueprint of life and i see you guys looking at like me like what's the point or like a new it, it's like an ascension but it's like what what is this incarnation really for because in the, in the past i was like aligning with this because that was my old motive but it's gone now so i see you guys maybe looking at life or looking at yourself and being like what is life what is the point but it's not in like a shadow work way or like an ego death way like again i'm being told that was that was before that you went through that before but that you know what i mean it's like that's got it it's more like you being in a waiting stage with this high priestess energy and i feel like even your higher self right now is like slowly downloading and seeding things in so things feel very uh you know when you're waiting for a lift and the, the arrow does this that's where i see your at. so i feel like the timeline that you're on right now you're kind of being upgraded i see food changes i see environment changes i see friend changes honestly i see you guys maybe moving away from certain friends i see you guys being very in tune with your psychic gifts very intuitive very aware of um I see you guys being aware of like what people are like really really feeling like deeply like strongly tapped into your Clessentian energies or intuitive it's like did I just read that person's mind like I see a lot of that and I also see you guys maybe in the past you might not have spoke up for yourself I see you guys really speaking up for yourself for just like just saying things and getting things out there and it's like because it's it's like these downloads coming through it's more of your higher self it's like I own who I am like you can't control me this is my voice this is my power this is what's going on some of you guys may be called to go and have like Reiki healing at this time or maybe just do it for yourself or just go for some energy healing while there's some parts of you clearing I also see some of you guys reviewing past events in a very adult way maybe weeping for your inner child but it's like looking at it from a fresh set of eyes then and going you know what like that doesn't define me and I'm, it's time for me to let it go. I just, again, it's like doodle jump. You're like elevating in consciousness, it feels, in regards to this higher timeline. So I kind of don't feel like this literally is just the highest timeline. I feel like you're in a shifting state, which is going to settle down. But I just see you guys kind of doodle jumping. If you've never seen the doodle jump game, it's basically this little weird doodle guy. And you tap the screen and he basically just jumps up levels, like up through these like cracks and he kind of goes up and up and that's the, basically the game or like flappy bird do you remember that one that was a good one um i see you guys just doing that right now um well as your higher self's coming in and i just see you guys taking really big leaps um because your higher self's like let's do this or you're having this activation of something it's like let me do this or you're getting an influx of energy and maybe you're working out a lot or maybe you're um shifting your whole style up like I see you guys really outgoing your shell and I keep just wanting to focus on that because I even feel like maybe your higher self it, it's kind of like let them find it in their own time like I don't I feel like I'm being told not to imprint with you guys of like what's to come on this highest timeline because it's like it's being revealed and you're going to align with it through the heart space I don't think you're supposed to be told um and I think maybe even just listening right now to feelings that you have and what you desire um would show you what's on that highest timeline I, i'm just being shown a transitional stage of like doodle jumping and it's like you're holding your inner child's hand and it's like this is what real love is this is what you know success actually means and this is what this is because your higher self's almost reparent in your inner child but in a different way maybe when you went through an ego death or you did shadow work it was like you know you were dealing with the nitty gritty the harder emotions it was like you shouldn't have gone through that and all of that whereas now it's like it's in a bright way it's like bringing light back into your life like this is what this is this is what this is and i see you guys really voice in your own power with this queen of swords but i do see like i even see some of you guys in a state of confusion where you're just feeling a bit like i don't even know what i want though but it's coming in and that's why you're being called to be in that energy of receiving i also think that a lot of seeds that you've sown in the past are also going to be coming through in this higher timeline that you're stepping onto which is why it's almost calling for you guys to be in an energy of receiving and not necessarily have expectations um and i'm being told to say you'll know what you've sown what was it that you were sowing was it success in korea was it you just being fit and healthy was it you guys feeling good about yourselves no longer feeling insecure like that no longer looking outside of yourself was it love whatever it is i'm being told you've already sown the seeds now you're just flipping and switching through timelines it feels um 
I just keep see, being shown you elevating. And I see you looking at life differently. Like, I just see the meaning of life changing for you. And it's like... It, it's almost like Super Mario. It's like, let's go play. Like, again, with the inner child, it's like, let's go play. Let's go find ourselves. What is life? What is this human incarnation? It's kind of like that. But I see just your higher self in that glass ball. Like, even your higher self is like... Where should we go from here? Where should we go from here? Where should, what are we doing from here? It feels like that. Like, I feel like timelines are being kind of woven for you guys, which is why I'm not getting a definite place to go because it's like, oh, we've actually got here. We've actually mastered this. Okay, now let's think of what we can do now. Or let's, we were going to be doing this, but let's switch things around a little bit and do this. Like, it feels like that. It's, it's quite interesting. I almost feel like you might have even aligned with something earlier than what your higher self expected you to which is why there may be like a weaving of things that's not gonna be for all of you it's just something that's coming through time doesn't exist and everything happens in divine timing so it's just like a matter of energy um i almost feel like looking at it from a humanly perspective if we're gonna look at it from 3d there's almost this feeling of your like a gap being in place of like we have time and room for things to come in or to flex about so let's bring some joy and I'll bring this in. It's almost like you've done something quickly or rapidly or you achieved something a lot quicker. Or like maybe it's like something's going to come in, but it's not ready yet. It's still, I was going to say it's still moist. I mean, like it's still, it's not cooked yet, if that makes sense. Um, you're maybe ahead of time, if that makes sense. And I feel like it's still aligning. So you've got room or leg space to kind of like flex about a little bit there's something about that which is really interesting because that's why your higher selves in that it's coming to me like a glass ball and it's like we've got room so what can we do what can, it, it's that sort of thing you know when you have room before work starts or you have time before work starts or you have time before someone gets somewhere so it's like oh what can i do with this time that's how i'm feeling right now which is interesting yeah there's almost a feeling of you being ahead of time even though time doesn't exist which is quite interesting or something you were meant to align with you did it really rapidly and that part hasn't aligned yet so you're just waiting now and now it's like okay what can we do now it's quite interesting i feel like you're kind of learning to fly if that makes sense like obviously the caterpillar it just moved across the floor with his little worm body and that's how it knew how to move but then when it you know, it turns into a butterfly, it literally reincarnates itself. It can't move about the floor with its wings. Its wings are going to get dirty and someone could stand on it. So it has to learn, oh, I have to move my arms, well, my wings up and down. Oh, okay. I'm literally doing this behind the camera. So it's like learning something new. So I feel like you're in the toddler stage of like learning how to walk again, if that makes sense. Um, when the soul learns to walk in this incarnation, it's like, oh, legs. It's, it's that sort of thing. That's what's happening in this doodle jump era like i feel like that's what's going on you doodle jumping right now pile number four pile number four's highest timeline what is the highest timeline my pile you met your shadow you've balanced it out with your light and then with the eight and one adding up to nine it's like coming towards the end of that cycle you've ended a cycle maybe quicker than your higher self maybe expected you to we have intuition yeah i see some of you guys either feeling bored or just stuck or just like what do i do now like there's this feeling of that what's going on and it's that that's the gps thing then being downloaded like what we're, we're downloading the new the new map you know it's downloaded from the akashic records just wait a sec you know it's that sort of thing and i also feel with the lady looking at the stars it's like waiting for the stars to align so i almost feel like even your higher self is like waiting for something else to be ready and I don't know what it is. They're not telling me. Something's physically forming into something. I don't know what it is. Pile number four. Pile number four. Pile number four's highest timeline. Please, spirit guides. We have deception and envy. Interesting. Interesting. What is that about? We have at the back of the deck, solar plexus chakra. What is deception and envy about? Underneath justice as well. Interesting. 
you yeah it's like i think you've had people in your earlier life because we've got the number seven here um so i'm relating that to like um like enemies here because it's like i feel like in your earlier life you had people that really tried to like stop you from winning or stop you from getting up to the top of that mountain like i really see that and with a guy kind of almost like taking the mask off i just kind of feel like you're looking at connections from the past or relationships from the past and it was just like oh wow that was my shadow like they were aligning with my shadow self like again maybe you had like a parent in childhood who um you know maybe put you down and then a lot of your partners would then put you down or a lot of your friends would like put then put you down it's almost like you're looking at it you're reviewing it like i see you going through a phase like that with the solar plexus because it's like taking your worth back taking your confidence back bringing your energy back to you uh which is really really interesting and aligning your heart with something new yeah it's interesting I also feel the more I look at this card sometimes before we really level up energy wise people might see that and try and target us be very aware and I'm not saying this to Fiamunga I feel like you'll know that but be aware of who's trying to really hold you back right now or who's switching up their energies with you right now because I see you really coming into your own and I see you guys really standing in your own power and I see you guys looking at people differently and it's almost this feeling of like people can kind of feel that and see that and I see people um I don't see anyone necessarily stopping you but I do see some envy because I'm thinking of green green with envy like I do see that and I think you might even have revealed to you people around you that might not have had your best intentions like you might have intuitively thought mm, I don't know I see people almost revealing themselves, like not being able to help revealing themselves. Um, so be aware of like who's around you and like who's slipping up on saying something. Because I almost feel like someone around you, they're either going to show their true colours, they're going to slip up saying something and you're going to be like, oh, okay, that's how it is. Or I see something like, um, I even see some people trying to come to this other level with you, but you're going to see straight through them. And I think someone's going to be a bit butthurt. Either somebody from the past that would have taught you a really hard lesson or somebody that was just kind of like in your camp, like around you, but didn't have the best intentions. It could just be you're evolving and they might just be getting triggered in their insecurities. But I feel like someone's true colors are going to show or someone may switch up on you as you're moving into this new phase, as these new energies are coming in. And I see you guys looking at them differently or being able to see something. And maybe in the past you might have um, overlooked it whereas now it's like downloading new fresh eyes. it's like i see you i see you i even see you maybe calling somebody out or really putting your foot down with someone which is quite interesting um because i could I, I even see like there's somebody trying to grab at you as you're doodle jumping to try and kind of pull you back or they're trying to hitchhike on you so pay attention to that interesting because look at them they're looking at it's like you're looking at this star if you look you're looking at this star and downloading that you know the akashic records are being downloaded the stars are aligning and it's like you're looking at it with your intuition so you're going through the doorway in the background you're going through this rite of passage whereas we have deception envy this person's looking at this girl with the mask you know what i mean but the mask is like up so it's almost like you can see through it then they can't hide from it anymore but they're looking at it because look at that looking straight at her so i feel like be wary of that i feel like you'll see right through them anyway but be wary of that or just use that as confirmation if you're getting weird vibes from someone i don't like to talk about that too much but if it comes through i have to say it it wouldn't come through otherwise um pile number four some of you guys it may also be a co-worker because i'm thinking of like business partners as well pile number four We have the 10th house, the highest timeline. Because you're standing in your worth and you're standing in your, this is what I align with, this is who I am, this is what I deserve. It's almost like you're commanding energy and I think that's really going to hit your 10th house in the way of like, I do see 
people's perceptions of you literally changing like a lot of people's perceptions changing of you um in regards to just like your reputation and who you are but i do see as well just career wise in general um it's like when i think of the ten thousand capricorn energy it's like you're in a very authoritative stance i see people really respecting you and looking up to you and i think that's where you may get an influx of energy going into this highest timeline it doesn't have to be but i see that um or if you've been putting a lot of effort towards work i see like an investment return there uh that's something that's coming through which would also make sense with the business partner side of it um but it could just be reputation and people just looking at you differently and then it's like oh you know somebody kind of like looking at that and not maybe liking that because i see you guys being very confident in your self um yeah pile number Whoever this person is, they benefited of you either not seeing your worth in that past timeline or they benefited from being able to target those parts of your shadow because it made them feel like they had power or gave them an ego boost um, or they just liked having you around. Maybe you gave a lot to them, but you're taking it off them and you're seeing them differently and they're not liking that. Maybe you saw the good in them, but now you're like seeing it for what it is and they're like, I don't like this. I want you to kind of adore me again sort of thing. It's it's that sort of thing. Um, It's quite interesting. Pile number, yeah, look at that, boundaries. One thing I will say, in this new timeline, I see you guys being very untouchable. Like, people that may have been able to get into your world and get into your life, they're not able to. I see you sitting very tall on your pedestal and being like, this is my pedestal, this is where I am. I see a lot of people not being able to reach you and I think that's probably why people are trying to hold you there before you get there and why the boundaries card has come up as well um which is really interesting the inner peace card is at the back of the deck as well so I feel like you guys have um let go of a lot of wounds maybe few people felt comfortable with you having those wounds because it was like they might have felt that above or it just made them feel a lot better about themselves but I don't see them walking with you in because we've got like that butterfly energy. And like I said, it's I keep being told past, past. It's like people are trying to hold on to like an narrative from the past of you and you've gone. <laughs> like you're not there anymore. And then it's like everyone's seeing this new version of you, but the people that would have benefited from you in the past are trying to hold on to that past energy, if that makes sense. But they're like way in the past because I see people trying to get your attention. And I don't like how it keeps coming into the reading either. So let me just... So can you cleanse that energy from me, please? Cause you're long gone. Like when it happened to you, it was like doom, 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 like doodle jump, like boom, 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 transitioning. Can't hear you from all the way up here. It's that sort of thing. Um, I'm hearing how that tastes by Kilani. Okay, pile number four. Pile number four, please, spirit guides. Pile number four. The, what is the highest timeline that my pile number fours are stepping on to? What is the highest timeline? Oh, goodness. We have reverence. Practice gratitude and respect yourself and others. Yeah, I feel like maybe in the past... See, this is it. It's like old narratives that you've just let go of. It's like, now I have boundaries, but it's past that. It's like, now I know my needs. Or it's like, you're, do you know what it is as well? I see you guys, because your higher selves, like, this is who we are. And downloading that to you. And you're like, talking about healthy love. And you're talking about success in Korea. And you're like, reaching for the stars, aiming for the stars, and just aligning with it. And it's like, I feel like it's going to make people a little bit, like, shake up a little bit. Because it's like, what? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, this person has really this person's like really like above them like they're acting like they're above themselves or whatever and it's it's not that i just see you have a completely new blueprint now so i feel like you might have outgrown a lot of people around you um which happens i'm being told to talk about because that's what's coming in while you're in this transition stage because i see a lot of like i'm gonna travel i'm gonna do this money comes to me easily and then i just see like it's not your old timeline at all so people are like what 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 and it's true because it's happening like i see things being a lot more abundant for you and people are like oh and it's like they're not able to like grasp at you then i see you guys feeling really maybe in the past as well you might have looked for like cheerleaders from other people or like you might have looked for other people's approval whereas now you don't need it 
so it's like you're doing your own thing and people are like how are they just moving like that how are they doing all of that i see you just being in a very dominating energy it feels very leo it feels very like leadership energy really activating it and not needing anyone else's approval and it's just like oh oh it's going to take some people a while to adjust i feel in this new timeline but i think for a lot of you a lot of new connections are going to come in um that just align with you a lot better the back of the deck you have joined together assemble <laughs> yeah i see new connections like aligning in look at the the rainbow on the road you know like when dorothy goes down the yellow brick road because with the yellow here and she like oh my god i was seeing about dorothy at the beginning with the bubble with the uh not grandmother willow that was a pocahontas um who's the godmother who glinda isn't that it the bubble that's what I'm um, being shown them with the yellow brick road and the rainbow and assemble. It's like she meets the lion, you know, courage. She meets this, she meets the tin man. She meets, you know, it's all of that. It's like, that's what I see you guys doing. I'm here with Michael Bublé. It's a beautiful day. <laughs> I see a lot of joy. I'm here and nobody can drag me down by one direction as well. Um, yeah, so I see you aligning with people that bring you a lot of joy and just compliment Bring out the best. Ah, you've had people in the past that have brought out the worst in you and you're going to be aligning with people that bring out the best in you. Love that for you. That's on your highest timeline. Right now, though, don't push anything because right now the map's being downloaded. Stay in that state of receiving. If you're called to rest, rest. If you're called to work out, work out. If you're called to get your ducks in a row, get your ducks in a row. Listen to your feelings right now. And if you're feeling a bit stagnant, just rest. Just flow. Take it day by day if you're feeling stagnant. The seeds are being planted and woven. Your doodle jumping right now, remember that. Pile number four. Final card. Pile number four's highest timeline. How can they align with the highest timeline? I'm not, it's funny because I'm not being told how you can align with it because you're aligning with it. And then I'm not being told the actual timeline because it's like you're pretty much there. You're just shifting frequencies and getting downloads of the new map. So it's like, this is just where I'm being called to focus on. So sorry if you came for like a significant timeline. You're kind of already there. I'm sorry if you came for like how to. You don't need to know how to because you've already done it. So well done for that as well. You know, because you've done it. You're, you're there. You don't need to know the steps. You already did the steps. Because that's why I was whizzing past and I was going done, done, done. We've done it. Pile number four. Good cheer with kind heart and humor free. May God cheer rule so more it be. Let me just cover them up because YouTube. Um, yeah, let me cover them up. But yeah, that's what we have. Good cheer with kind heart and humor free. May God cheer rule. I just keep hearing everything comes to me easily. Every come, everything comes to me effortlessly. Things just align with me. Things just work out for me. It's just like a new found. I can have this, I can have that, I can have this, um, or I can align with this. And lots of fun. I, I just see like a, a really strong feeling of like liberation. And it's funny, I was seeing a lot of connections and new people coming in because we have love at the back of the deck. Aphrodite, I call to thee to bring a true love here to me. Um, yeah, powerful. So again, I'm sorry I didn't have a specific place. I feel like your higher self is still kind of downloading that in. Um... And again, I don't think you need to do anything, but just listen to where you're at right now because you've already done what's needed to get here. Just, it's a bit of a spiritual upgrade and a frequency change. Lots of uh, ringing in the ears, maybe feeling a bit dizzy, maybe feeling like time is stopping. Um, you know, sometimes we're like, you'll feel a bit weird and then all of a sudden you feel like what was five minutes ago was weeks ago. I, I feel like that'll hit for who it needs to it's happened to me a lot like it it tends to happen to me a lot where I'll feel dizzy or I'll just feel like weird and then I'll get like ringing in my ears and then it's like what I was just thinking ago five minutes ago I feel like that was last year or like I feel like it was a week ago and I'm like what just happened um so I see that like frequency shifts like that uh and then it's like one day I'm waking up and I'm having an epiphany and I'm like I want to go to Australia I went to say that in an Australian accent and I stopped myself. Um, but I see that. I was like, I want to go to Australia. I want to go to Japan. I just see a lot of like, let's do this. 
I am open to love now. I feel romantic. It's it's that sort of thing. It's and you just have and these. It's just all of a sudden it's there and it's like oh this is a new part of my plan. Cool. This is the new path we're taking now. Cool. I just see that happening for you over the next couple of weeks. Um, the third month, but it. I don't necessarily feel like March or like three months from now. Um, I don't why am I yeah three months from now that's where I'm being taken so. Say now you're watching this, I mean, we're going into May, so let's count May as like month one. May, June, July. So like July, if you're watching this now, like there's something happening around that time. Or you're going to have a really strong, this is what I need to do. This is where I'm going. That's when things are going concrete again. Right now you're doodle jumping. But yeah, pal, um, number four, that is what I have for you. I really hope this made sense and I hope you enjoyed it. Hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did. I'm sending you guys all of my love. I hope you have a beautiful morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. So thank you guys for watching.